Hello, I'm Lynn Docs Midas, and I'd like to tell you how you can create a header for your website or a cover for your ebook by using free tools on the web. I'm starting with Canva where I've already logged in. First thing we're going to do is use some custom dimensions. If you're using an ebook cover, make sure that you check out the appropriate new uh, dimensions that you need. I'm going to use 1600 by 300 for the header for my blog page. First thing I'm going to do is put on a background. So I select background and then I look at all the free options. Canva has many free options or if you choose to use something that's not marked as free it's about a dollar US that you need to pay for it. I'm going to select one and I like the design but I don't care for the color so I'm going to have the color match my own website. For that I click on the image then on the colors and I'm going to insert my own color hex code from my website. After I enter the hex code I just click and it's applied to the background of my image. The next thing I'm going to do is add some writing. To do that I'm going to select text. And the text I want to use is this one right here. So all I'm going to do is drag the text over to the left and then put my own words in by typing over. Okay, my final line is going to say writing on the web. Okay, so now that I have the text that I want, the next thing I'm going to add is my image. And I'm going to add a picture of myself, but I'm going to remove the background from the image so that the pink shows through. There are several ways you can do There are different free tools on the web you can use. This website is Edit Photos for free and it's completely free. I used this one, which is different. It had a small monthly fee that I paid for on PayPal. It's called Clipping Magic, and I liked it because it had one less step. First thing you do is go through your free photo image and mark with green everything you want to keep. Okay, so I'm drawing. Basically make sure that you're hitting any different colors that are in your image and everything is green to there. You might have guessed we're going to mark with the red or the minus everything we'd like to remove. But this is a little bit touchy in here because I do want it to go in here and get that last bit of hair, but that means it has also made the hair shorter on one side than the other. Okay, and as I go all the way around you can see the yellow line being drawn in. And that shows me where the marks are going to be. And then all I do is crop. You can see what it would look like. So if you wanted to do more touch-ups, you could do some. When you hit crop, the image is done. And you are going to fit to the result here. And close it. Okay. And there you have it. Now you're ready for download. So we're back here in Canva and we're going to look at our uploads. And I've already uploaded the image for you. Okay, and that's the one you can see clearly has no background. So all I'm going to do is go over here and I'm going to insert this image simply by clicking on it. And I'm going to drag it over here to the right hand side and it fits completely in the picture. Okay, now we have a lot of space in here so I'm going to add a piece of clip art. And the clip art is from another free website, which is Open Clip Art. And I'm going to add this graphic image. To do that, all I'm going to do is take the URL and copy it into the Upload tool. Okay, here we are back in Canva. We're going to go to Uploads. And upload your own images. And you will have stored it to your own file. So after you select the image where you've stored it on your desktop or whatever file you put it in, it appears here in your list of uploads. And you can see it's also invisible or has the background that you can see through. So we're just going to haul it over here and stick it in the middle. Okay, so there we have it. We can sh shorten this a bit so it's a little less obvious in the middle. And then we all we have to do is uh, save our image, which it's doing. It has no unsaved changes, as we can see at the top. And we're going to download it. 
And we're going to download the image for the web, which is in a JPEG, or you could go with high quality. Or if you were doing a book cover for a, PD, for a POD, print on demand, you could download it as a PDF for print. And that would give you the appropriate uh, resolution. And that's all there is to it. Have fun.